IAS Online Academy welcomes you to the Environment and Ecology Online Video Lectures. ComeOnIndia.com is our website. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about acid rain. It is an expected area in prelims every year. In this topic, you should know what is acid rain, what is wet deposition and what is dry deposition, how acid rain is formed, what about contribution of carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, all are equal in contributing to acid rain and so on. And we will discuss the important causes for acid rain and consequences of acid rain on the buildings environment, human health and so on. So it is a very important topic for the 2016 prelims also. So prepare well. How can we define acid rain? We can define acid rain as a any form of precipitation with the high level of nitric acid and sulfuric acid. Any form of precipitation with the high levels of sulfuric acid and nitric acid. We can also define acid rain in another way. Acid rain is a broader term referring to a mixture of wet and dry deposition from the atmosphere containing the higher level of nitric acid and sulfuric acid. If you notice the definition, you can understand that only sulfuric acid and nitric acid are mentioned. What about carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide also gives carbonic acid when joins with water. Is it not as part of acid rain? Let's discuss further. Rainwater means you may think that acids reaches only in the rainwater form. It is not so. Mostly sulfuric acid and nitric acid reaches the earth surface in the water form, but also in the other forms like snow, fog and tiny bits of dry materials also. They settle in the over the earth surface. Let's discuss the various causes of acid rain. Causes may be natural causes and human made activities. Example for the natural causes are rotting vegetation and volcano eruptions release some chemicals which contains nitrous oxide and sulfur oxide which combines with water in the atmosphere and forms the acid rain. But it is only a small portion. The major reason for the acid rain is human activities. Within the human activity, burning of the fossil fuel by the coal burning power plants, factories and automobiles are the big culprit. In this image, you can understand much better. Here you can see the gas, oil and coal based power plants which burn the fossil fuel and nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide are released. Some of them fall back to earth close to the source as a dry particles and aerosols. These called as dry deposition. The dry deposited material when combined with water they forms the nitric oxide and sulfuric acid on the earth surface. And Rest of the material or you can say the rest of the sulfuric acid, sulfuric, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide reacts with the sunlight and in the ozone in the atmosphere and forms the nitric acid and sulfuric acid. The formula for nitric acid is HNO3 and the formula for sulfuric acid is H2SO4. And and the sulfuric acid and nitric acid reach the surface or earth surface 
as a wet deposition now you understood the mechanism in the dry deposition and wet deposition let's discuss further as you aware carbon dioxide is present in higher concentration in the atmosphere when compared to the nitric oxide and sulfur dioxide the important point is that carbon dioxide does not form acid carbon dioxide does not form acid to the same extent as other gases do carbon dioxide forms acid no doubt but the quantity formed is very less because of that sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide affects the ph of the rainwater significantly in prelims if you get a question like which of the following affects the ph of the rainwater significantly and choices are sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide carbon dioxide and none of the above means or you can say other options you have to mark both sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide not carbon dioxide now let's discuss about wet deposition and dry deposition we already discussed with the help of the image about this acid particles and vapors are deposited in two process one is wet deposition and second is dry deposition wet deposition is a process by which acids with a ph of below 5.6 are removed from the atmosphere in the form of rain snow sleet or hail dry deposition takes place when particles such as fly ashes sulfates nitrates and gases are deposited on the surface of the earth and then these gases can be converted into acid when they contact with the water sulfur dioxide when joins with the water produces sulfuric acid nitrogen dioxide when contacts with the water gives nitric acid now let's discuss about the consequences of acid rain it is very important for the prelims examination and acid rain has many ecological effects acid rain makes the water acidic and acid rain absorbs the aluminum from the soil aluminum from the soil and when aluminum reaches the water bodies it becomes toxic to the gray fish clams fish and other aquatic animals acid rain also damages the forest especially the forest located at the higher elevation here it is an important point you may get a question that acid rain destroys the forest more which are located in the lower level or higher elevation so acid rain damages the forest which are located at the higher elevations when acid rain falls on the soil essential nutri nutrients and aluminum are leached away from the soil essential nutrients and aluminum leached from the soil because of that trees get affected and also acid rain affects the leaves and needles of the trees here we have to understand one point there are many types of soils that we are going to discuss in our geography video lecture not all soils are equally affected by acid rain some soils have the buffering capacity which can neutralize the acid rain and plants can be protected whenever the soils buffering capacity is low harmful effects of the acid rain are much greater prior to the falling to the earth the gases like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide gases reduces the visibility 
and impacts our health acid rain and dry deposition also degrades the paint and stones especially marbles and limestone and because of that effects significantly reduce the societal value of the buildings bridges etc as you know about the taj mahal and its famous is a famous building and around the taj mahal there are so many factories which emits the sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide because of that dry deposition and acid rain in the areas around taj mahal the marble get affected and many ngos filed the case in supreme court and supreme court order to close down the factories located around the taj mahal is the case that you should remember while writing the answer in as as a train topic here one fact you should remember the ph of the pure water is 7 we can call the water as a neutral water the ph of the natural unpolluted rain water is about 5.6 5.6 so natural unpolluted rain water is acidic in nature what is the reason for acidity in natural unpolluted rain water this is because of the carbon dioxide because of carbon dioxide nitrogen oxide also partially contributes to the natural acidity of the rain water how nitric acid is formed naturally during the lightning storms lightning storms by reacting with the nitrogen and oxygen as you know nitrogen and oxygen are the two common atmosphere gases when lightning storms occurs these two gases are fused together and forms the nitric oxide which contributes to the natural acidity of rain water as you know we use petrol diesel in our vehicles whether two wheeler or four wheeler do you know that in our in these fuels sulfur is present sulfur is present and also you may heard about euro fuel norms euro 1 euro 2 euro 3 and barrel stage fuel norms barrel stage 1 2 3 4 6 etc which are coming in the news daily the purpose of euro fuels and barrel stages is to reduce the level of sulfur present in the petrol and diesel if the diesel or petrol with high sulfur content is used means more amount of sulfur will be released into the atmosphere so more amount of sulfuric acid will be formed which causes more acidic rain and other effects so objective is to reduce the amount of sulfur present in the petrol and diesel delhi and agra is are already supplied with diesel which has lower sulfur content let's compare the quality of coal present in india and china as you know china is the world's largest or world's most populous nation and india is the second most populous nation in the world both are importing huge quantities of oil from the gulf countries and other from other sources apart from that both countries mainly dependent on the coal for producing the electricity both india and china ha- have substantial reserves of coal according to the various estimates using coal for producing the electricity in power plants is expected to increase for both india and china in coming decades the level of sulfur content in the coal in india is constantly low compared to the china so indian coal has less sulfur content when compared to the chinese coal is one advantage that india has in the recent years if you follow the current affairs regularly china 
imports coal from the Australia, which is of high quality. The objective is simple. We should use the coal which has lowest sulfur content so that low amount of sulfur will be released into the atmosphere, low amount of the sulfuric acid formation, low level of acid rain and other side effects. This is an important topic for the IAS prelims examination every year. So download the PDF for revision and all the best for your IAS 2016 exam preparation.